Now to a, to a dramatic ending to a bizarre standoff. A man wanted for raping and beating his wife falls off of a bridge after police say he tried to hang himself. News on 6 reporter Chris Wright is live in Katusa with the latest. Chris? Well, Jennifer, police have been looking for Ambrose Mart Martinez for more than two months now. Now they found him earlier today and after pursuit, he ended up nearby here on a train bridge that overlooks the Verdigris River. Authorities were then able to stop trains from coming as well as ships from the Port of Catoosa from going underneath while they watched and waited. The tense two hour standoff finally ended when Martinez plunged into the Verdigris River. As the officers were coming in towards him, he turned loose and uh, the uh, belt or whatever it was he had around his neck uh, failed and he ended up in the water. Martinez had been wanted for rape and assault with a deadly weapon since July. Before he ended up dangling from the bridge, police say he abducted his eight-year-old daughter in Tulsa. Authorities say she witnessed his alleged crimes. An Amber Alert was issued and Katusa police eventually spotted the pair near Rogers Point Park. It's where the TU rowing team was getting ready for practice. It's very unusual to have something like that going on in this park uh, because this is a very, it's been a very safe place for us. So Police were able to get a hold of the eight-year-old, but Martinez took off and wound up on the bridge. Authorities say he was trying to hang himself with his own belt when it gave way. He not only survived the several-story fall, though, but he struggled against first responders' efforts to get him in the boat. They eventually did secure him and get him to land. He was then taken to a hospital, ending a bizarre afternoon for everyone involved. It is very unique. Uh, I have never been involved in anything such quite like this, uh, involving the water and the railroad and uh, the height that we're talking about here. Now we're told the eight-year-old is doing fine this evening. As for Mart Martinez, no word on his injuries tonight. A little bit more about the crime he's accused of committing. His wife says back on July 5th that Martinez uh, beat her with a chair leg, cut her with scissors, strangled her, and then raped her. And he will be in TPD's custody when released from the hospital. In Catoosa, Chris Wright, the News on 6 tonight.